Welcome to part three of downloading a Spice model off the web and running it in Hyperlinks Analog. In part one of the series, we navigated to the Linear Technologies website, found their Spice models for op amps, downloaded them, and then brought those into Hyperlinks Analog where we dragged and dropped and automatically, automatically created a symbol for the Spice model. In part two, we modified that spice model so that we had um, a nice graphic for it. Now, part two is completely optional, but from the perspective of showing off some additional functionality in DX Designer and Hyperlinks Analog, uh, it's, a use, it's a useful exercise. Plus, the resulting schematic looks a lot better. So, in this design, we're creating a summing amplifier which is a basic op amp design and the first thing we're going to want to do is you know add some ports so I've got my positive DC in I've got three different input signals let's see what else do I have I have uh, my negative in just zoom out to add this output port to put it at the end. All right, so now we need to wire wire this amplifier up. I guess the first step should be to name our signal. So this will be our DC positive. Uh, this will be our signal one. Signal 2, being real creative with the uh, naming convention. Signal 3, this will be our DC negative. And way over here, we've got our V out. So now just click and drag. It just reminded me that I need to add some resistors. So let's just move these guys up here. We're going to need a ground on that input. So let's go ahead and grab those resistors out of the Spice Primitive Library. And again, let's be real creative with the naming conventions. So that's R1, value of 10K. First time through, let's just make this a pure summer. So make all the resistors the same. Summing circuits are actually pretty interesting because you can use them as arbitrary waveform generators or as mixers. So, all right, now we need one more of those. C copy, paste, click. All right, and this is going to be our.
summing resistor at 10k. All right, back to wiring. So as we've been busy creating our design, our design project browser has been busy building out the representation of the design for us. Uh, let's call this some app. There we go. So probably a little bit prettier than uh, you would normally worry about. At this point, I'm going to close this section out, which will be the circuit creation. And then in the next section, in part four, we'll go ahead and set up the simulation and run it.